My name is Rodney Franks. I'm in the studio with one person who I consider uh, my list of trumpet living trumpet players, definitely among the top five for me, trumpeter Greg Gisbert. Places like Philadelphia, Chicago, New York, New Orleans, they have a particular sound when it comes to jazz music. Is there a, a particular sound that comes from the Mile High City? Absolutely. <laughs> How would you describe it? I have to uh, kind of put it in maybe two categories. Like growing up, had so many like incredible human being mentors like Nat Yarborough and Bruno Carr, and Billy Tolles and Homer Brown and Billy Wallace, Freddie Rodriguez. The list goes on and on. Jojo Williams, Paul Warburton. These were people that like had toured the world when, when in America and the world when that was a very common thing. So they brought that world-class standard to Denver. Then growing up, being around that, I was I had some great mentors that they were kind and supportive, but it was much a little more uh, <laughs> rough around the edges because if you weren't making the chord changes at the peck, they were going to tell you to sit down. You said the drums or the trumpet. That's quite a jump from percussion to a, uh, from a percussive instrument to a melodic instrument. <laughs> I started on snare drum but from the time I could hold sticks, like maybe two, three years old, and I just watched the high school kids. So by the time I was in elementary school, I already had like competition, like high school and college level competition, snare drum ability. Eventually, my dad got me a drum set and I did my first gigs at, in the Glenn Miller Ballroom and uh, I was playing drums. I had my few beats and I got paid $40. And as a 10-year-old, I was like, oh my, I want to be a drummer. When I saw Clark Terry play, I was in seventh or eighth grade at, at UNC Greeley. My father took me, and before he played a note, he walked out on stage. I went to go see the drummer in the Lab One band. That's why I wanted to go. But when I saw Clark Terry walk on stage, the way he carried his horns and what he looked like and the way people cheered for him, I went, I want to do that, Dad. He said, you haven't heard him play. And then he played one note, and I said, I definitely want to do that. And I set the sticks down right then. Been a veteran of, of a couple of bands that are still working and still evolving, and one is the Dizzy Gillespie All-Star Band. And I've been a member of that band since, I think, 1998 or 99. And Maria Schneider's band I've been a member of since 1989. And in that band, I'm also one of the senior members. It's a neat place for me to be in because now I'm understanding lessons so many of my mentors told me when they would say things like, you have to tell a story. And in my adolescent, uh, young 20s, competitive, got to prove to the world I'm somebody mind, I'm like, what does that mean, tell a story? and leave some space. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? And, ah, oh, you're fine, you just need experience. Well, how do you get experience? And they're like, we just keep playing. Well, when do I get good? <laughs> In terms of what people perceive as great power through the trumpet is actually created through minimalism and control. The trumpet mouthpiece itself has a very small hole in it, and that's already way more resistance than the flute. So it has to do with like, people think maybe playing the trumpet, you have to blow really hard, like. Well, that's not true. It's actually like this. And I try to get my students to understand that. Bobby Shue tried to get me to understand that for 30 years, and when I finally got it, I went, I called him, I said, I finally got it. What do you want people to, to remember about you as a player, as, as, a, as a son, as a brother, as a husband? Uh, and, and what you brought to the world. What do you want to leave here? Wow, that's an incredible question. I would like to leave the best truth 
uh, about as far as go for music. Uh, first of all, I like to leave this world know with people knowing that I, I cared about them and I cared about music. Personally, I'm just truly grateful I made it out of those, those uh, they used to call them champagne wishes and caviar dreams, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the rock and roll sort of lifestyle. And it was the jazz lifestyle before it was the rock and roll lifestyle. The only thing the rock and rollers added was destruction of property. But everything else was pretty similar. <laughs> Anisha Rush on the alto yeah. saxophone, Steve Kowalczyk on the guitar, Seth Lewis on the bass, Colin Stranahan on the drums. My name is Greg Gisbert, and Rodney, we want to thank you 